Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Pixel to your WordPress site. So Facebook Pixel, now renamed Metapixel, it's a piece of code that you can place on your website to track conversions from Facebook ad, optimize ads, build target auto audience for future ads, and remarket to people who have already visited your website. Some specific ways you can use the Facebook Pixel code is to track conversions. So this means tracking the actions that people take on your website after clicking on a Facebook ad, such as making a purchase, signing up for your email list, or visiting a specific page. This information can help you see which ads are most effective and where you need to improve your website. Facebook Pixel can help you optimize your ads by showing them to people who are most likely to be interested in them. For example, you can create custom audiences of people who have visited your website or taken a specific action on your website. You can also use the Pixel to track your ad performance and make adjustments as needed. The Facebook Pixel can help you build target audiences for future ads. For example, you can create an audience of people who have visited your website but not made a purchase yet. You can then target this audience with ads that are de designed to uh, encourage them to come back and complete their purchase. And you can also remarket to people who have already visited your website. This is known as retargeting. The Facebook Pixel allows you to show ads to people who have already visited your website, even if they didn't click on an ad. This can be a great way to stay on top of uh, potential customers and encourage them to come back to your website. It's really powerful. It can help you improve your Facebook advertising results. If you're not using the Pixel yet, I highly recommend setting it up. It's free and easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, for your WordPress website. So when it comes to connecting your pixel code to WordPress, there are two ways um, you can do manually or using a plugin. So let's go over the manual way first. You can see we've got an event set up and we've got our ad set up. So the first thing that we actually need to do is go over to our ad manager and just get the pixel code that comes with the ad manager. So you can see we've written the ad manager now and we've got just the one um, ad set up. To find your pixel code, go to the events manager and the ad manager here and then we have just have to click on the pixel and you'll see a code snippet that you need to copy and paste into your website's head section. Next thing you want to do is log into your WordPress dashboard and just connect your, pixel, your Facebook pixel code to your WordPress. You want to add the code to the head section of your website and you can do this by editing your themes header PHP file or if you're not comfortable editing the header PHP file um, on your own like that, you can always use a plugin like insert headers and footers. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into our theme file editor and then we're going to look for our header PHP file. So you can see we've got the theme file editor here and we've got the header PHP file here. And you're just looking for the head section, so that's this part here. And you want to paste in the code uh, just within that head section. So what we'll do is we'll add a little comment just to get some context. And we'll call it FB pixel code. And we'll put it all in one line so it's a bit neater. And then we're just going to take the code that we copied from the ads manager and we're just going to paste it in, making sure it's within this head tag here. And your code will look something like this, um, and you just paste it right, and you don't need to edit it, edit it in any way. Once you have the code edited on your site, you just want to click on Update File to save the file changes. Once you have the code added to your website, save your changes and test your pixel to make sure it's working properly. But then that's it. That's your Facebook pixel code added. There's nothing else you need to do from there. So the second method is using a plugin. There are a number of plugins that can help you connect your Facebook pixel code to WordPress. Um, a really popular plugin is called Pixel Your Site, and this plugin allows you to easily add your pixel code to your website, as well as track other important events like conversions and e-commerce transactions. So what we're going to do to install that, we're going to go into the plugin section, and we're going to click Add New. And we're just going to search for the plugin website, it's called Pixel Your Site, it should come up in the search results. 
and you're looking for this one here. So Pixel Your Site, your Smart Pixel Tag Manager uh, by Pixel Your Site, you're looking for this one here. And you just want to make sure that it's compatible with your version of WordPress. Always best practice whenever you're installing new plugins is to make sure everything else is updated and making sure your WordPress version is updated as well as being sure you have a recent backup as well. Um, and there we go. So we've got our uh, Pixel uh, set up here. We're going to go into Pixel Your Site and we're just going to go into the dashboard. And what we're going to do is we are going to click for settings here for pixel IDs and you just want to type in your meta pixel um, ID and that's just pasting in what we uh, copied eventually um, in the uh, beginning of the video and then once you're done you just want to click on settings oh we could put the settings over here that's great and you just want to click on save settings to save everything as well and that's it. Once you've actually connected your pixel code, whether that's manually or through the plugin, um, you can start using it to track your website traffic and conversions. And you can use that information to help improve your Facebook advertising results and grow your business as well. And that's a wrap on today's uh, video. I hope you enjoyed and find it informative. If you have any questions or if you have any issues installing the code, uh, please uh, leave your comments and questions in the section below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.